Hey, this is Peter from CarMusic.cz, and tonight I'm going to interview Winston McCall from Parkway Drive. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so I guess we'll start off. So um, your new album, your new album dropped like a month ago. Atlas, uh, how about the feedback you've received? What do you think? The pe how the people received it? It's been, it's been. Good. <laughs> no, it's, it's 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 hard. Like we never really judge from reviews and stuff because you're talking about like one person's opinion, good or bad. But playing the songs live has been insane. Yeah, that was actually the next question that I wanted to ask. Um, uh, whose opinion is important to you? Whose? Um, the people live. That's it. Like, like it is, and well, most of all, most importantly, our opinion. That's it. We write music that we like. So if other people like it, like that's the bonus. But um, it's always awesome to like play a new song for the first time and watch people go mental instead of just stand there and go. Oh. So yeah, it's been it's been really cool. This tour has been really cool to be able to try new songs out. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's the way it should be. Um, how about the. The gang gang shouts during Wild Eyes. Wild have you been <laughs> have you been enjoying this? Yeah. Like during the ongoing tour? Yeah, yeah, it's been pretty crazy and that song's been getting better and better. We um we had that idea from like Argentina from the those yeah. guys just yeah, you can see it from the DVD. Yeah, you can see it. Everyone caught that straight away, like I bet you got that from Argentina, but yeah, we fully did. But I'm stoked it worked. We didn't know if people would sing along, but like from the word yo, we played that song, it was just like boom people singing were like, oh, this song's going to be great. <laughs> yeah, I heard you were surprised during one of the live videos from, like, Germany, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was, loud, it was loud, loud, loud sing-alongs. It's been it cool. It was crazy, yeah. I believe that. Um, do, you ever, do you ever show any of your music to your family or relatives? Yeah. No, um, uh, they're, they're the first person people to hear it, our family. Like, uh, our, um, our parents all come to the shows in Byron. And they love it. My dad, like, is the first one. It's like, give me a new record, give me a new record. And he doesn't listen to any heavy music but us. But when he's doing, like, the ironing and the housework, he puts Farquhar on, which is funny. Okay. <laughs> so, um, so um, they all appreciate what you do. They all. What would you do if you weren't in this band? Be a loser. Be a loser. <laughs> Be a loser. No, no, I just, I'm, I just say that because I have no idea. Like, I've, um, it's really strange. Like, I'm 30 years old now and I have no education and no skills <laughs> so if I wasn't in the band now I'd be pretty screwed but um I don't know uh, I guess learn more <laughs> we're very lucky to still be in this band doing what we do like it's seriously insane so. yeah, it definitely are yeah <laughs> What bands have you enjoyed touring with the most, like, historically? Um, probably the Warriors first, because they're, like, our best friends in the world kind of thing, yeah. when it's band-wise. Very Aussie bands. Some, so some Aussie odd. bands, uh, Survival. We've only done one tour with those guys, but they were awesome. They're on the next tour. 50 Lions, Her Nightmare were amazing. Back in the day. Is that your brother's band? Yeah, 50, 50 Lions, yeah. 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 And, yeah, a band called No Apologies were awesome as well. Like, really, really awesome. Actually, we did a tour with um, No Apologies and uh, Her Nightmare. Like, on, I think it was the Horizon launch. It was one of the craziest tours we've ever done. So much gnarly stuff going on in it. So, yeah, it was good. <laughs> and the next question would be, um, what do you think about the Jan genre? Um, That's rising up. The Jan the genre? <laughs> I didn't even know what the hell it was at first. I'm like, is that something Swedish? That's some weird Swedish word. But... Um, it's confusing. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, like it's. Uh, that, I guess I'm not so much of a metal. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't listen to more progressive music. So, um, like the heaviest kind of stuff I listen to is pretty straight down the line hardcore. So that yeah. stuff for me is kind of I listen to it. And go, this sounds weird. But that being said, like some of the stuff I've listened to is fucking incredible. Yeah. And like it's, I, d I don't know what their class does, but um, there's a band from Australia called North Lane who are yeah. phenomenal. You're touring with them next month, right? We did a tour with them this summer as well. Oh, yeah. and, um, so young, 
and so good, man. Yeah, talented. So I'm psyched to I'm psyched to see them. Yeah. So do you consider your band more like hardcore than metal? Uh, I wouldn't be able to say our sound is hardcore, but um, like our background definitely we're hardcore kids. We have no idea about metal, and that, that's not because we like dislike metal. It's just that's not where we came from. But um, we just try and the sound that we make is just basically a progression of the skills we have, and we just try to make different kind of sounds every now and then. So, <laughs> but um, yeah, like everything we know comes from a hardcore background. <laughs> What music do you usually listen to while touring? Is it like still heavy or sort of electronic? Um, nah, um, it's soft, I guess. Soft. Um, I don't really listen to that much music at all when I'm touring these days, but generally, uh, I guess, something that's different from what I'm hearing every night. Because like, you can't listen to heavy music because you're literally like, I'm going to hear four hours of boom, 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 as heavy as you can get tonight. So you, you just want to listen to something that's different. So like, I don't know, blues, soft stuff, Lana Del Rey. So probably Aussie music sometimes? Um, yeah, so, so here and there, like it's just something that doesn't like get my blood going and make me go, yeah, adrenaline kind of thing, something that makes me just... Because that's what you get every night, right? That's it, every, yeah. every night. And, and the thing is like, it's very hard for me to go and listen to bands that we tour with afterwards on record because live is always so much heavier and then you put a record on, you're like, Sounds better live. Yeah. So yeah it's, yeah, it's hard to listen to that stuff. I've ruined so many bands' records that I like by touring with them. <laughs> a lot of bands are like this, yeah. All right, that, that would be it. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for answering, for taking the time. No problem. And um, could you say a few words like, hey, this is, you know. Yeah. Hey, this is Winston from Parkway Drive. Thanks for checking it out. We love Czech Republic. You.